I want to talk about a subject that is coming into my life all the time right now. This is the concept called beginner's mind. So there's an old man who's a mentor and he's brought on a new student. This is a very classic story. And the new student is meeting with him in the woods over a cup of tea. And the old man says, what do you know? What do you know about the subject that I'm about to teach you? The student says, oh, I know so, much, so many things. Like I can tell you so many things that I know about this subject. And the old man picks up the tea and he's naughty. He's listening to the student go on and on about all this. And this, the old man is just pouring the cup of tea and the student keeps talking. The old man keeps pouring and eventually the student burns his hand, drops the teacup because it overflows. So, ah, like, why, why did you do that? Why, why, did you, why did you pour all that tea? And my, my cup was already full. And the master said, exactly, as I can't, I can't teach you anything if you think you already have all the knowledge. And you have to have an empty cup. He picks up the cup and gives it back to the student. And that story has resonated with me lately, and I want to talk about the concept of beginner's mind. Beginner's mind means that you go into something with the, without knowledge, really. That's really what it is. And I think that when it's so hard in this age to truly go into something without knowledge because we can Google it, we can find like all of these conceptions of it. But when you want to learn something new or you want to learn something from someone or you want to have a conversation with people in general, it is best to assume that you have the least amount of context possible. But what I have noticed is that it's the opposite with almost everybody that I talk to and myself like making like this mistake a lot, which is why I'm talking about it today. This idea that somehow coming into a conversation, you have knowledge or certainty of your position or your side being right. We're so polarized now that one side has to be the right side. And when two people have a conversation, you're trying to convince the other person that you're right and that your side is the one that is correct and that that person should abandon their side. And I just don't see why things have to be that way. I think that two people should have a conversation about something and that should be a discussion that leads to a mutual result and a conclusion and each person should walk away from that conversation learning something. When I work at my company, the most important thing that I think about is what context do I not have into this person? When this person is coming into my room and they may have a problem or they may want to ask me something or they may, or I just don't know about what's going on. The most important thing is that I ask them questions about what's going on in their life. If someone has an emotional problem and they come to you and they say, Hey, like I have all this trouble and you just tell them what you think the answer is. You've done them a great disservice because you haven't allowed them to voice it in their own mind. What I find is like out of all the self-improvement videos that you're going to watch from me, probably the next a thousand videos that I do, unless I spark you to ask the right questions of yourself, I, I'm never going to, you're never going to succeed in changing your life. The only way that you're going to do it is if you actualize, that's why becoming actualized in the sense of like self-improvement is the idea of actualizing an answer. You create an answer from something that's already there. Everything that you have that you need to self-improve is already there. You're not going to learn anything new from me teaching you. All I can do is I can spark you questions. I can ask you questions for you to continue the dialogue in your head to actually get that answer. It's the same in conversations with other people. You have to be the one that asks questions that gathers context. That that's what the greatest leaders in the world do is that they gather context. They don't assume that they know everything. Whenever you have certainty on a subject, you're doing the person that you're talking to a disservice and you're doing yourself a disservice because you're not taking that initiative to learn the thing truly and to own the thing that you don't know. And I think it's so easy to, to assume that we instantly have knowledge on a subject because like you can just get the information from anywhere. Like we were talking about, you can get the information from the internet or you can get the information from anywhere, but there's nothing like talking to a person who really has the experience and really can go through that with you and provide you that context. You have to have the beginner's mind in everything that you do. If you're being held back in your life, especially in your career, the reason is probably because you are thinking you have context into something, you're thinking you're an expert at something, you're thinking you're good at something that you aren't really good at, that you aren't as good as you think you are at. And I can't tell you how often this happens to me. Maybe people think, oh, you're a CEO, you have tons of context. I feel like I have the least context out of anybody in, in the company. I feel like I have the least context of anybody that I meet about anything. I feel like I'm surrounded by experts and that I don't actually know anything. 
And I'm not saying that to be humble. I'm not saying that to be facetious. I mean, it's like, it's actually an ego problem. It's like, I actually feel like most of the time I don't know anything. And sometimes it disturbs me like how little I know that the more that I research something, the more that I gather something, the, the less that I know about it and the more questions I have. That happened with running a company. Like when I first started running companies, I was 16 at the time. And I thought that I knew everything about running companies. And I thought that making money was really easy. And I realized that as long as I had that thought, I wasn't actually making money and nothing was actually working for me. And I couldn't understand why, because it's like, what's going on? I have all the answers. When I really started listening and I really started like getting context and getting the real details about what was going on. And I was reading and consuming and admitting to myself that I didn't know these things. That's when my career took off. And you'll see in these videos that like, all I'm doing is talking. So like, oh, he talks a lot. And I do, but I listen a lot too. And I sit and I listen to people as much as possible and try to get that context. So if you approach your life, my challenge to you is to think about the beginner's mind, to think about what you think you're an expert in and think about you have all the context. Like how many people are complaining about their job and they're saying, yeah, my boss is an idiot. Um, he doesn't understand my worth. He doesn't know that like I'm, uh, I'm doing all this work. Um, well, maybe it's you that don't have, doesn't have the context. Maybe you've never confronted him at, with a beginner's mind and been open to him talking to you. Maybe you think your relationship is just your girlfriend or your boyfriend is just treating you wrong and they don't understand you, but probably you've never taken the time to really have a beginner's mind come to them with acceptance. When people feel like they're not being judged and when people feel like they're, you're not actually holding them to some kind of standard that you have, but you're really just there to care and to listen and receive, you'd be amazed what comes out and what they actually talk to you about. Suddenly you have context that you never did before because you're not in your own head. You're not about trying to be an expert. You're not about trying to educate them on something. You're just listening to what their context is and you're receiving that. And in your beginner's mind, you're starting that off and you're saying, I'm ready with a new slate to empathetically hear what you have to say so that I can discuss this with you. I'm not trying to win you over to a side. I'm not trying to fight you. I'm just trying to have the beginner's mind. It's something that, you, that I personally really struggle with people that I know longer. The longer that I know a person, the harder it is to totally surrender because you have more and more conceptions about people and more and more misconceptions. You may think that your family member or your friend is just not able to receive that advice. But if you really are empathetic and you surrender, you lower those defenses, that's when you really get into that. And my biggest challenge is doing that with people that I've known for longer than five years because I have those misconceptions too. So when I'm thinking about the beginner's mind, this came to me because of how many things are happening in my life that are just teaching me that I really don't know what I think. And I don't really know anything. Like I'm constantly just getting educated on being a better person every day. And I know that as tough as it gets, as long as you keep that beginner's mind, as long as you keep that idea that you're always growing, always learning, always progressing, you're gonna move your life forward as hard as it is. And it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort, and it takes a lot of vulnerability to be in that state all the time to learn everything you can about something and continuously drop all the things you learn and learn again and again and again. But that's how mastery is created. That's what mastery is. Mastery is getting that beginner's mind and going back to that over and over again. So my challenge to you is what do you struggle with that you think you're an expert at? What are the things in your life that you can be vulnerable towards, empathetic towards, that you can open up to so that you can have a beginner's mind? Let me know, comments, let me know on Facebook, anywhere you want. Thank you very much, I'm Devin Nash. See you again for the next video.